good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here. Man, it has been a long time since I've done a Speak In My Mind episode. Yeah, it generally has, guys. Um, I've, uh, you know, I've done, before this episode, I had like a backlog, a massive backlog of them. So um, it, it has been a while since I've done one and I'm gonna try not to slip in this bit while I try and go through. It's not the best of days, it's a bit cloudy. A bit, um, it's, it feels a bit damp, floors uh, muddy. The path I normally take here, um, you can see, not the best of uh, traverses, but I've gotten through it several times um, before, but um, uh, some, somehow I've managed to um, do some of these without even slipping up, which is quite amazing, believe it or not, even though I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing boots today. Um, it's probably because they put more weight on my feet that's probably why I don't do them uh, wear them as, as often as I should really um, for that so I'm in the usual usual park where I normally go to um, as well so that's not much. oh dear um, before I get my faults here I've got to find a way to cross this um, hmm I think last time I did actually I actually jumped across so uh, let me see if I can do it again. <coughs> yeah, yeah managed to do it again. So still got a spring, shall we say, in the step. Uh, yeah, that's a, normally that's dead dry. Um, it's not very often it's actually filled with water. It's actually very rare. And that's probably why people don't come walking through this pathway here. And it's one of the quietest paths actually. Um, even during the summer, it's still very quiet. This pathway is very quiet. Um, so what are we gonna talk about today? So I'm gonna to talk about something that I've been wanting to do. I do, I've, I've thought about, didn't wanna do a Speak In My Mind episode on it, but I'm actually gonna do one on it because it's something I generally very passionate and caring about, and that is uh, wrestling. So what, so I can already see somebody clicking off already, <laughs> but maybe some people are curious to know where, where this uh, came from. Um, and uh, literally just the night, the, 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 the day before this, I'm recording this, I was at a wrestling show last, uh, last night um, at the time of this recording. Um, it, was in, it, wasn't a, it was a great show. It was a wrestling promotion in the UK called uh, RevPro Revolution. Um, they're actually one of the biggest, um, biggest promoters in the UK. And, um, and they run some really fantastic shows. Um, oh wow, it's really wet today. Much more wetter than usual here. Um, and I've been to a couple of their shows now and uh, started to get to know some of the, been about three, maybe four shows, I think I've been to their promotions now. Um, they do like, uh, they do shows at least once every month in London. It's like a smaller event, but I haven't been to one of them yet. And then they do like uh, every couple, every few months they'll do a big show. Um, in like a bigger arena and what they'll do is they'll get some wrestlers from japan they may get one or two from america it's not all um it's not all just british wrestlers no they get wrestlers because of uh, how big they they've got getting quite a big reputation here in the uk they've um they got uh, working relationships with other wrestling promotions of course and that's led to um uh, st some bigger stars coming in um and we had a great time me and my partner She's not, uh, she's not into, she doesn't go out of her way to watch wrestling, but um, she's starting to enjoy the shows, which is great. Um, so as long as she's having a good time, if she wasn't enjoying it, I wouldn't be taking her to the shows with me. But as long as she's having a good time, it's fine. Unfortunately, the only downside was last night's show, as great as it was, um, because, she wears, because she wears glasses, guys, um, where we were sitting, the light from one of the, the light, one of the big shining bright lights that shines down obviously on the ring spot area was actually getting in her eyes and it was causing her a bit of blindness so she couldn't always look at the, the match. So she had to turn away because of the, um, because of the lighting, which is really annoying. Um, but uh, that was my fault. I didn't really think about that when I got the seats we got. Um, the previous show we went to before, we actually, um, we actually had front row seats to that one. So we got to see the wrestling up close got to shake a lot of hands so as they come past you get to like fist bump and all that kind of stuff which is pretty darn cool um that one was more expensive but this one 
uh, we're a bit further back and um, uh, we're, we want to go again. We got, we got a wrestling show later this month I paid for last year. That was back when I was working. Um, because I'm still un unemployed right now. Um, they're going to one of the biggest wrestling shows this year in Wembley Stadium on August the 25th. That's not with Red Pro, that's with a wrestling company called All Elite Wrestling. It's a wrestling company that's been around for about four, four and a half years or so now, roughly. Um, they started in America. They're a big rival now. They're becoming a big, big, big thing. And uh, last year they had their first uh, show in the UK and they literally sold 80,000 tickets. 80,000 tickets at Wembley. So it was a jam-packed venue. And uh, as of right now, the show's not until August, nothing's been announced on the card and they've already nearly sold half a, nearly half that capacity already. So I think it's like 39,000 we've, we've already shown. So that just shows you just how how excited and pumped our people for that show is. Um, so I guess it really came from, the wrestling came from when I was a lot younger. Um, when we were younger, we used to watch the so, well, some people might have called something called the Attitude Era. I don't know how many people who follow and watch my channel are familiar with the so-called Attitude Era, but that was the um, that was a time when uh, uh, there was when we were younger in my generation. Anyway, there was the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, that those kind of um, people. Obviously, many people are familiar with Hulk Hogan, although he's completely lost all credibility considering he's. It's been proven that he is a racist. Um, so I wouldn't uh, give that guy any credibility, guys. Uh, even though he did change wrestling, um, he's lost uh, all, lost any kind of morality whatsoever he's been found. And then there's obviously the story about Vince McMahon. Uh, for those who don't know, he's the, um, well, he was, and has been for a long time, the, the overall owner of uh, what you guys have heard of WWE the only wrestling company that vast, probably the vast majority of you have ever heard of anything related to wrestling and um it's been proven that uh well allegedly it's uh stressed there are strong allegations of lots of sexual misdeedings misgivings going on during his time as owner um which i'm not going to talk about i'm going to stay out of it but um that wrestling company was obviously i never watched any others back then when I was younger and they were the only one I knew about and um, even me and my brothers would would um, watch them um, uh, I would watch them a bit when they were really younger and um, as I got older I did start growing out of it a little bit I still enjoy wrestling but I never um, I never went to I only ever went to one or two WWE shows I never actually went to um, <clears throat> I never went to any um, uh, shows lately, but I went to one or two when I was a little bit younger, and um, they were all they were they were fun. They were fun shows. Um, they're not as fun as, as these these shows that I go to now, but um, um, I still have some fond memories of them. Um, but I never did any meet and greets. I never met any pro wrestlers until last year when AEW came round. But um, um, but I had a really great, I had some, uh, ex had a bit of experience. So I'm definitely what, not what you call a hardcore wrestling fan who goes to every indie show, every every outlet and all that kind of stuff. I definitely don't categorize myself as that in any way, shape or form. Um, but uh, if you ever see a fan wearing a sky blue hat and a sky blue shirt, that's the, she's a all elite wrestler. And any British show, uh, that'll be me because uh, I always rep her and maybe I'll do a speak of my mind episode on why she's my favorite wrestler and why I have a have a special connection of sorts with her and it's nothing to do with how she it's not to do with how she looks it's a lot more to, to it than that and even my fiance understands why I'm very passionate about uh, being a supporter of her and what she does but in terms of like the um, you know there was a period in my life where I got fed up of wrestling and I was just done with it and um, I just didn't want to didn't want to do it anymore because I didn't want to listen to it or watch it anymore online like or on TV like I used to because 
No, I needed to get a bit as I was getting older. And the shows were no longer about, oh, this is WWE still. This was about, um, it was no longer about giving the fans what they want, having the matches that they wanted, that kind of stuff. It wasn't like that anymore. And it was all about just making money, money, money. And yeah, every, every business is all about in it for making money. There's no question about that. But um, it, it became so obvious. Uh, it became so obvious. And uh, I just got, I just got put off by it. And that's when I got into to the whole football thing, which I'd done on a previous Speaking My Mind episode where I talked about football. And then, uh, so what gave me, what got me back into, back into wrestling? Well, um, it was a couple of, Whee! almost slipped, didn't slip. That was very close. It's very slippery. <laughs> oh, you got that on camera now. Uh, oh dear. Now, how am I going to cross this? Hmm. So, um, oh, I can cross there actually, so I don't need to step on the wall. So how did, uh, so what happened then basically? Well, how did I end up being a wrestling fan again? Well, it's back, basically it's the YouTube algorithm. Uh, took me across a, 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 not a wrestling show, but like a, but like a wrestling comedy sort of thing. Once again, I'm slipping again. <laughs> I need to get out and sort my footwear out. And it was a bunch of wrestlers that I wasn't really too much familiar with. Uh, and it was a, I know it was just having fun they were doing rest. They they do like wrestling, but they were just doing showing their personality sort of thing, and that's what a lot of wrestlers have, have started to do. So you've got to see a bit more personality of them. Like you don't just see the acting and the scripted stories and all that kind of stuff. You got to see the, a bit of the real them, and um, and it resonated with me. And then I heard about this company being built up in America called All Elite Wrestling that was starting out and all this kind of stuff. And I was like. Uh, not sure if I really want to really want to watch it. Not really sure. Like I have doubts and everything. Then I heard one or two wrestlers that were from WWE that I used to watch were going to be wrestling for the company, and I thought uh, I might as well give it a try. So um, there was this show in 2019 called All Elite Wrestling um, Double or Nothing, um, which they had uh, in Vegas, and um, it was their first uh, first ever like pay-per-view show um, they were securing I think they secured the TV deal which is quite amazing as well um, and I watched this, this is the first time I watched anything related to this this is the first time I watched a wrestling show outside of the WWE the whole that bubbles per se because I've never watched anything on the indies I've never watched anything from Japan I never watched any other Promotion, there's so many wrestling promotions, believe it or not. There's loads of promotions. There's even promotions here in Britain. It's not as, um, it's not as, uh, doesn't the British wrestling industry is not as deep as it is in America because in America there's so many wrestling promotions out there. But in Britain, there's, there's obviously Rev Pro now and there's a couple of others, but it's, uh, it's still hard to get into the industry. It was still hard to get into the industry then. Um, but it's a lot easier now, uh, thanks to AEW. And why is it thanks to AEW? Well, what AEW did, and obviously I came hooked to them, and instantly became a fan from the first show, from that first pay-per-view, and I've been pretty much watching every single wrestling show they've produced ever since, is, um, is that they've, uh, they allowed the wrestlers, not just to wrestle for their company, but they let wrestlers wrestle for other indies. Um, they developed... The owner, whose name is Tony Khan, who is also the same owner of Fulham Football Club, uh, and he's also the owner of the Jaguars um, in uh, in America. So he's a very wealthy businessman, but he is a legit, uh, legit wrestling fan, and he has shown it on a number of occasions. And he has an encyclopedia on wrestling. He, I don't I don't can't believe this man. This man is unbelievable, um, <clears throat> and. Um, he has built relationships with other wrestling companies. You know, he doesn't, sh he gives um, a wrestlers a lot more freedom to be themselves. Um, there's, it, it's just a lot more, the wrestling is a lot more real. Um, there's not, it's a lot, it's, it's less about the uh, drama, 
story sort of thing and more about the actual professional wrestling in itself so you get to do more of that in AEW. and it really resonated with me and it resonated with a lot of fans who were like me were fed up with wwe wanting something different wanted to try something wanted to feed into something different and that's exactly what they've done um there's now this tribalism that takes place on, online all the time and i fucking hate it i hate the tribalism um it drives me absolutely insane and i really do try to go out of my way to avoid the tribalism and if you follow me on twitter you see me all the time uh tweeting something or retweeting something with regards to to wrestling not just news and politics which is why probably why some people unfollow me after a while because they get fed up with me tweeting about wrestling uh, or the other way around um, which is understandable um, but um, so that's kind of my that's kind of how I've gotten into the wrestling now because AEW opened my eyes up to a lot of a lot of indie stuff that I didn't know about now which now makes me want to go to indie shows. Like I've never been to Rev Pro before, but the first, but and I and I remember last year going, and um, it was like that. And I saw some of the people on the card. I was like, oh yeah, this sounds like a fun. This could be a fun show. Like they had some good wrestlers and misses. Never been to a wrestling show either. Like I haven't been to this company before, and we had an absolute great time. Uh, and my favourite female wrestler happened to turn up and make a shocking appearance, which. Uh, uh, made me go a little bit crazy at the time as well, which is pretty amazing. And, um, you know, we've been to um, uh, quite a few shows now. So, and we're having fun, it's entertainment. And the other thing as well, and I've, I've, I think I've mentioned this on videos before, or even live streams, guys, that um, it's, it really gets to me to take away everything that's going on in the world. Because I cover news and politics, you guys know that. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way for me to kind of, get away from all of that a little bit you know not just when i spend time with family and friends and whatnot but it really does help me forget about all these problems and just just be entertained and enjoy it and um and that's what it is i really do enjoy watching this company and watching what it's doing and um before i end the video i've got this to say to you guys if you was a fan of the attitude era the fan of back of those days I honestly just urge you just to go and watch one show from AEW um, online. Just go and watch one show. Um, go go to their YouTube channel and watch watch a, watch a bit of their stuff. And just don't take my word for it. Check it out because you never know. You might end up finding it. You enjoy it. And you might end up taking your kids to a show one day. And they may end up enjoying it too. So definitely worth checking out if you've had that history of liking wrestling when you were a kid. Um, because it is one that resonates with the Attitude Era, in my opinion. But uh, what resonated with you when you were younger and changed? Did any of you listening to this have any connections with wrestling whatsoever? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.